John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm here in Vinci Performance in beautiful Chattanooga, and uh, standing next to me is Mr. Mark Vinci. Mark's uh, greetings, and uh, Mark's going to uh, be giving me a tour of the factory and also explain some of the virtues that go into every Vinci Titanium train. Correct. Okay, so here we are. You know, this is what I'm going to call the CNC area, small parts. This is where we'll start. This is where we make all our dropouts, cable guides, etc. What we're running here today, this happens to be one of our uh, dropouts. Is actually the plate. This is going to end up being one of our road slash gravel flat mount dropout assemblies. This, this starts life over behind you is our water jet machine, where we cut the blank out of a piece of plate. And it comes over here, goes through the CNC process where we're, we're doing final machining on it, doing a little engraving, drilling and tapping some holes, creating the mounting and surface area for the replaceable hanger. And this side of it, you notice this arm's a little longer. That's where the uh, flat mount adapter bolts onto, or the post mount, whichever one you prefer to use. That's what goes on in this part of the world. All right, now we're getting ready. You've seen where we create the small parts. Now we're getting ready to talk about the frame. It all starts for us with job packets that are created that define what model we're gonna be making, its size, and how many of them. And as you can see right in here on both sides of me, uh, in our very sophisticated storage bins, there's job packets and the base tubes have been cut for whatever it is that we're gonna be build, building. After the tube set's been cut, then the next thing is all the forming and cold working and shaping that needs to go on to start to really turn it into a bicycle tube set. And to the left here, you'll see some of our roll forming. That's where some of the shapes are created. It's exactly as it looks. Those rolls spin, pull the tube together, and form it into whatever shape, whatever die set that we've got in there. If you come over here, this is a, a press machine. This is where we'll do a lot of the bending of the tubes. Well, we do we bend tubes two ways, either with a bending machine or with a press die. Here would be a press die. Here's where some of the dies are stored. Here's some of the end result as an example. This is for a Cooper CX. This began life as a straight tube. It was put under here with a die. Comes down, hits it, and the operator puts it up against the drawing to check is a quality assurance check. Do I have my bends, etc everything correct. From there, all this is going to go into mitering. Now we're in the mitering department. We've got the tubes cut, we've got the tubes shaped, and now it's time to miter the ends so that they all lay together to form the shape of the frame, the geometry, etc. As you can see down through here, we've got individual work stands that all represent a different model and shape. These over there, up here is the front triangle mitering. So we're cutting down tubes, top tubes, seat tubes. On further down in the flow, the chain stays and seat stays are done. And then at the very end of this, now we're going to have a complete tube set ready to weld. Still in the mitering department, but this is where the chain stays and seat stays are done. As you can see, it takes a little bit different type of fixturing so he can check, he sets those up to make sure that his angles and links are proper, the tolerance is correct, this piece of equipment. We'll do, we'll miter a set of seat stays together and a set of chain stays together to make sure that their symmetry remains the same. Okay, so now we've left mitering, and as you can see now we've got tube sets, fully bent, mitered, and ready for welding. Right now we're in the first stages of welding. One of the first thing we do is weld the bottom bracket shell to the seat tube. We do that so that 100% of the bottom bracket and the seat tube can be welded together. If we wait to put the down tube in place, it covers part of the, of the seat stay bottom bracket connection and now you can't weld it. If you don't weld that, you're going to have creaking and failing. On down here is where the front triangle is being tack welded together. A tack weld is just a little drop of weld just enough to hold it together. That confirms the, are our geometries correct, are all the parts fitting together properly before it moves on to, to finish welding. 
Now it comes over here, and this, at this fixture at station is where it's finished welding. So as you can see right now, he's in a weld fixture, and it pivots and rotates to get him, in, him and the frame in the correct and most comfortable position so that the weld both is strong and aesthetically pleasing. got the front end welded together. Now as you can see here in these pictures, this is where the rear end, if you will, is fitted and welded to the front triangle. And it's also where the cable guides, etc., water bottle bosses, rack mounts are also installed and welded. processes that have to take place after that. One of them is this machine takes care of checking and re retapping the threads in the bottom bracket gel. This machine over here takes care of facing and making sure the bottom bracket cups are, are that the width of the bottom bracket shell is correct and that they're parallel and perpendicular with the ground and the crank. centering gauge that tells him is the wheel correctly and symmetrically spaced about the chain stays and seat stays. Our frame's been mitered, welded, aligned, finally inspected, and now we're in the finishing department. This is where the final finish, satin, industrial mill, etching, graphic, all get applied. From here, go to the box and ship out the door. If, we're provide, if you've ordered a complete bike, the frame will come in here, and this is our right now our assembly area where it gets turned into a complete bike. We did the bikes actually get fully assembled and ridden, then they bring it back in, do a little bit of disassembly to handlebars, seat, etc., so that it fits in the box and it's packed up and ready to go.